primal king of liver, liver king, has finally addressed the leaked emails put out by Derek for more plates, more dates. And uh, this video is called Liver King Confession. I lied. So it sounds like he's going to finally own up to it. I mean, he's pr pretty much telling us what we already knew. Uh, but let's watch through this together. This is my first time viewing it. And, and we're going to look at it live. All right. Right off the bat, shirt is off and his steroid use is on full display. But I'll give him a few points because he's not wearing a loose sweatshirt with a messy bun like some of these other YouTube apology videos. Liver King confession. I lied. Primals. Primals. I'm making this video to apologize. Because I fucked up. Because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. Because I lied. And I misled a lot of people. I've stated that. Okay, strong start. He is actually owning up to it. Let's see if he keeps it up. This is a complicated as fuck topic, at least to me it is, because before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. And I never expected. To well, he made it 30 seconds. We just had to know that he's still rich, but not anonymous anymore. Thank you, Liver King. It's kind of exposure in the public eye. It's been tricky as fuck to navigate. Clearly, I did it wrong, and I'm here now to set the record straight. Yes, I've done steroids, and yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. You're on steroids, bro? <laughs> we had no idea. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. What? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's unpack this. Let's unpack this. You're saying that Liver King, the character, was an experiment to help people who had depression and were considering suicide. Let's think of this. If you are portraying this as the male body image, the ideal body image for young men who are already not feeling great about themselves, isn't that a greater disservice to say you need to look like me? You need to look primal in order to be happy and healthy in your life. I dare say you are putting out the wrong message and you're setting unreal expectations because you're so juiced up that your eyes should be green. So I do not agree with you saying that, that it's for the benefit of people who are suffering depression because you're putting out your body image like this should be what you should look like, except no one can look like this unless they're sticking needles in their butt. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job. To yeah, any any young man would look weak next to you, bro. Your veins are popping out. I could swim through them. Voice critical. Model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living. The nine ancestral tenants. So our people no longer have to suffer. So we can collect it. Our people or our people? Humans? <laughs> People who who actually live. <laughs> He's still pushing his program. That's okay. I don't like that. We express our highest and most dominant form. This is my fight. This is why I exist. While spreading the message, I've been on several podcasts. Okay. What message are you spreading? That you need to pay to buy your shitty supplements or buy your program or to follow you so you can get more ad revenue. This is not the message. Okay. This is you wanting to get money, money, money. And when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said, no, I don't touch this stuff. Not going to touch this. That was a lie. Thumbnail. I convinced myself that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message. I convinced myself that I'm not a competitive athlete of any kind. So who the fuck am I cheating? I could. 
you are cheating all of your fans that actually believe that you're a natty, that you're a natural, naturally attaining this body type without steroids. That's who you're cheating. I've heard this argument before, you know, like a pro wrestler or just an aesthetic athlete who's really not performing on a high level. But I would argue that this is much worse. You don't see like Peyton Manning or Tom Brady posting shirtless pictures online and saying, you need your body to look like this and go buy my program to be happy. Convinced myself that this topic was a placeholder for a far more important conversation. I convinced myself that this would overshadow the 36 years of working out, usually twice a day, without PEDs. Usually with PEDs. I convinced myself <laughs> that this was the vocal minority, usually in the fitness category, driving to an unproductive conversation. And I had convinced myself that this would be the wrong message to send to the 15 year old boys. So I continually dismissed it. Problem with this is in the email, it said that he was planning on having a million followers within like a year and he hit that. So he was planning on using these steroids to promote the liver King character and to be that big dude up on top that everybody wants to look like he was not, Oh, I got stuck in it and I couldn't get back out. I dug myself into a hole. No, 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 no. You planned this. You wanted this steroid so you could look as big as possible for your big launch of the brand. That is bullshit. And I dug myself into a bigger and deeper hole. There you go. There's your liver hole. I had only myself to blame. I did that. And it was all wrong. I will be better. I will talk about it openly. Because I believe that there's a time and a place for pharmacological intervention monitored and managed by a trained hormone physician. Yes. Okay. It's not a bad thing to get old and have to have some hormonal uh, hormone replacement, maybe some extra testosterone. Dude's in his 40s. The problem was when you lie about it. The problem is saying, I don't take anything. I just look like this naturally. This is genetics when it's not. It's completely artificial. That's when the... The disingenuous nature of it is really, that's what affects people. It's not you actually doing it. Look at Joe Rogan. He's very honest about what he takes and people respect him for it. But if you look at someone obviously using like yourself or maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson, it just, it makes this facade and it makes it look like this is what you're supposed to look like without having any kind of steroid use. Does he really talk like this? Like, do you think he's like talking to his wife and kids? He's like, hello, primals. How was your day at school? Blah. He's still in character. Put a shirt on at least and, and talk to us like human beings. In an effort to increase my growth hormone and it didn't work, meaning that my level still remained below the normal level. Also, you've probably been using steroids so often that your body wasn't producing these naturally. So, of course, you're going to you're going to have uh, you're not going to react to them and you need more and more. The Liver King brand has had nothing or at least very little to do with my business success. My companies were already kicking ass, already successful before the Liver King public figure growing at 50 percent year over year and still growing at the same pace. So why do it? If you're behind the scenes, if you're anonymous and you're making a lot of money, why come in front of a camera unless you want to make more money, unless you're narcissistic and you want to gain notoriety? If I'm making, you know, hundreds of millions, as you're saying you're doing, even before your whole liver king uh, persona, why the hell do I want to be out in front of a camera and let people know that I have this wealth, you know, and become a target of criticism? You've put yourself out there and you've been lying blatantly and put on this false persona. For what reason? For what reason? After the Liver King public figure. <laughs> nope. I've never had ab implants, ab etching, <laughs> or any other plastic <laughs> surgery. And I sure as fuck never actually had gene uh, editing done in Singapore. As my dude's sitting there like with a relaxed stomach and his abs are still just absolutely block, pop and drop in off of his stomach. Like there's no way. I mean, even like really shredded dudes like competition ready when they relax their gut, 
you're going to lose a lot of that definition. I mean, this guy, does he just stay hyper tense? Is he doing the demon slayer breathing technique? I made all of that up. It was all intended to be a joke. And that's an expression of ancestral to the 10. Have a little goddamn fun. Oh, it's a joke. It's just a joke, bro. It's just a joke, bro. Ultimately, why did I or why do I do them? I like how he's saying I did do steroids. I have like, oh, it's already behind us. Let's move on. <laughs> When I talk about the 85% of the population that suffers from self-esteem issues, that's me. I'm part of that statistic. This is why I fucking work myself to death in the gym. This is why I do 12 to 15 blood-burning workouts a week. So he has body dysmorphia, right? This is a mental condition where you're never satisfied with how your body looks. And he was telling that doctor too, you know, like this is where I'm at now, but I don't like my back fat and I want to get bigger and stay lean year round. But if you have low self-esteem issues, why do you push out this unnatural body on the young men who also have self-esteem issues? I remember when I was, you know, 14, 15, I started lifting weights. I had these concrete weights in my room and I would pump iron for two hours a day till I destroyed my body because I'd look at like men's health and these super shredded guys on the cover who were popping steroids and had these unattainable bodies. And I thought that that is what I needed to look like. And I never got to look like that because I was always just natural. What you're doing is you're taking $15,000 worth of steroids a month. I mean, most people, especially young men, don't make that in a year. And you're sitting here saying, oh, you know, be ancestral, eat testicles, and you're going to look like me. No, dude, you're popping like 150K of steroids, and you are absolutely lying out of your juiced up ass. Let's continue. Just to feel like I'm okay. Still, I have to absolutely crush myself to do so. And I'm wrecked physically and cognitively. And hormone replacement has helped in a profound and significant way. Again, I'm not against hormone replacement. Like if you need to replace your hormones to feel better, to feel more, uh, more drive, to please your wife, whatever it is, go for it. But don't say you're not doing it. And still, I believe that the path to paradise is paved in fucking hell. I previously have said in a weird way, I'm grateful for the recent events that have shed light on this complicated as fuck topic. I knew I needed to take this opportunity. So him saying it's complicated is just him delaying it so he can, you know, get this apology written because it's really not complicated. You took steroids to look big and strong to sell your products and to get a bigger following on social media. There's really nothing more complicated about it. To openly discuss everything for me to be a better human. If there are any questions that remain unanswered, send them my way. I fully own that I fucked up. I am as sorry as a man can be. And all I can do is take extreme ownership right now. Be Not sorry. Sorry you got caught and lead myself to a better life as a better human. Again, thank you to everyone for the support, the criticism, the love, the hate, and above all else, the loyalty. Liver King. Out. He just Seacrest out that? <laughs> okay, okay. So let's talk about this. Is there a way for the liver king to rectify himself in his image? I think absolutely yes. And he has to stop taking steroids or at least be very open about it and talk about here's what my body would actually look like if I wasn't injecting all this crap into it. Uh, that level of transparency is why some of these other uh, uh, influencers, fitness influencers are so well loved and respected. Like Rich Piana comes to mind. Uh RIP. But this really needs to open a discussion for even like the Hollywood celebs. Like I'm looking at you, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you know, these people who are not natural. It is setting unrealistic expectation for young men. And it's setting a standard that this is what you need to look like in order to be happy, which is the anti-message. Your message should be confidence and and 
and being primal and, and being dominant. I don't know, whatever the hell you, you talk about, your primal instincts. But these things didn't exist back in, you know, primitive days, all these unnatural things you're putting into your body. If you're really primal, you would be eating meats and you would be working out with boulders or whatever. So it's it's just complete BS. It's a complete facade, right? But, you know, as someone who worked out for quite a while in my teens, really trying to mirror that body image that I would see all over in the superhero movies, in the magazines, this is so detrimental. Primals, this is so detrimental to what body image should be. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Do you think that the Liver King is going to bounce back from this? Was this apology video enough? Is there any way around this or is he going down faster than the Long Island boys? Let me know down below.